Hi guys. So next Wednesday is our budget meeting. And so I wanted to give you some information beforehand to make sure that we make the most of the time that we have on that evening and also that we make the best decisions that we can possibly make at that meeting. So let me start with the admin. So as I already told you, it's going to be on Wednesday night. It's June 17th. We're going to meet at 8.30 p.m. and we're going to meet online. I'm sending you everything today um, by email or by WhatsApp, all the information that you need. I will be sending you the budget sheet with a proposal uh, from the leadership team, where we are at right now, how we're doing financially, and the plans for the next few months. Uh, I'll send you the meeting link. It's going to be a go to meeting again, and I'm going to send you the link uh, to that meeting so that you can um, join us that night. So all of that will be sent out today. I'll be sending out the link to this video, obviously, and also to another video on our church identi identity. I'll get there in a second. And then um, we hope that you can join us that evening. We hope that you can join us not just to say, yeah, yeah, I think it's okay, but to really come up with ideas, to really come with suggestions and to really tell us what you think about the budget and if there is anything that you think we should change. So um, that's the meeting for next week. I um, want to say two more things to that meeting. One is obviously our church identity. I just mentioned that I will be making another video uh, talking about our identity and reminding all of us of our identity. So you can make any suggestions that you have on the budget. We can change something. We can increase something. We can completely cut something. Anything is on the table. But the important thing is it has to be in line with our identity. We can't just say, I like this, or I don't like that, or we should change this. But whatever our suggestions we have, we have to be able to, uh, to reason them from our identity. And we have to be able to say, this is our identity, and this is why I suggest the change in the budget, because this is how our identity is being uh, lived out through this budget change. So that's the important part. Any suggestions can be on the table, but it has to be based on our anchors, on our values, on our reasons for existence, and all these things. Because if it's not, then we are just talking about our own opinion, and then we will never get anywhere. So that's the only requirement that we have. So please give us your ideas. Please give us your suggestions. But reason next week Wednesday, reason these kind of suggestions that you have from our identity. All right, another topic that we will, I'm not sure if we can decide or if we can discuss on it next Wednesday, but we will definitely throw it out. And that is the small group. Uh, as many of you probably know, the regulations, the, the restrictions, the Corona restrictions are slowly being eased. And so in many, in some states, uh, you can already meet with 10 people. Uh, in some states, even more people. And so we expect that Bavaria will soon follow suit and soon also allow us to meet with more people again. That then means that we will have the opportunity again to meet as a small group in person. Right now, we are not allowed to do that. Or if we do that as a religious activity, it would be limited to one hour, which, of course, uh, doesn't really make sense. That why we still, that's why we still uh, meet online. But once we are allowed to meet again with 10 people or maybe even more, uh, depending on the regulations, we do consider meeting again in Eidenbachstraße for our small group. On the other hand, we also realize that right now more people attend the small group because it's easier. So then we have some people that if we go to only personal meeting at Eidenbachstraße, then maybe the one or the other week, uh, you would have to say, you know, I don't have time for that this week. I work late or this or that, so I can't really join for various reasons. I could join an online meeting, but I cannot join a personal meeting. On the other hand, the personal meeting, the personal touch is also very important that we don't just see each other on the screen, but we also meet each other in person and pray for each other in person. Of course, the screen is okay uh, if we have no alternative, like over the last few weeks, but obviously the personal meeting has something that is uh, that an online meeting does not have. And we also have people with different preferences. 
some of us might prefer the online meeting, might say, well, um, I want to study, I want to pray with others, but actually, if I think about it, it's just so far and it's so much effort for me to come there. And so I would prefer a meeting online. Other people say, I don't like online meetings at all, and I would much rather meet in person. So the question is, how do we move forward once we have the legal permission to meet again? One of the ideas that we had was, or one of the thoughts that we had among the leadership, that was, if we were a church of 50 people right now, what would we do? And we said, if we had that many people, we would probably offer both. We would probably offer online small groups and we would offer in-person small groups. And then everybody can pick according to their preference. And we would say either is fine, there's not one better than the other. But what we do ask everyone is be part of one of the small groups, doesn't matter which one. So the question that we then raised was, would it make sense if we do that now to simply meet different people's needs? Would it make sense if we offer two small groups every week, one in person at Eidenbachstraße and one online each week? We didn't really come to a conclusion and we realized this is not something that we can just decide because we need to hear from everyone and we need to hear everybody's opinion. But it was something we wanted to throw out and we wanted everyone to start thinking about. And if we have time next Wednesday, we'll talk about it. If we don't have time, then uh, we'll, we'll do that more informally. I'll reach out to everyone and hear what you, what you have to say and what your opinions are and what your preferences are and everything. But the big question that we have right now is really, what do we do with a small group? once we are allowed to meet again in person. Would we continue online and not meet in person? Would we meet only in person and not online? Or would we try to do some form of hybrid, some form of doing both, depending on people's circumstances and preferences? So that's something we wanted to ask everyone to start thinking about, praying about, and let us know your thoughts once um, you have an opinion on this. So that's, um, you know, that's the questions that we had for next week um, and that we wanted everyone to think about before we actually meet. The other thing about the sermon series, we have kind of realized throughout the last few weeks and months as we talked with different people that one topic wasn't really requested, but it's, it seems to be really needed in our church. And that is the topic of inner healing. And so that's what we're going to focus on probably for a long time. But we're not going to do it every week. So because inner healing is really a long process. And so that's not something where we can just rush through in two months and then kind of not talk about it any longer for the next three years. It doesn't work that way. So what we'll do instead is we'll take it step by step. And we'll start talking about it over the next month or so, do some sermons on it. And then we give people a chance to process it. Obviously, our goal is that eventually we all receive some form of healing. We all receive some form of revelation from God of what is broken in our lives and why it's broken. And then we reach out to each other, we pray with each other, we support each other, and then receive healing from God in those areas. That's the long-term goal, but that's something that takes time. And we don't want to overwhelm people and we don't, can't do everything at once. So that's why we take it in chunks. We'll start with some more theoretical sermons, maybe for a month or so, maybe for six weeks, and then we'll take a break. And then we give everyone some time to think about it, pray about it by yourself, talk maybe with another person from Aletheia about it, process what we have heard. And then we've come, we hopefully come to the point eventually when we kind of process and work through the things that God has revealed during that season. And then a month or two later, we come back to this whole topic of healing, and then we go a step deeper. And then all of us, hopefully, will have new things that we have to deal with, and new things that we want to share with, uh, with others and pray over and receive healing. And then we take another break, focus on another topic, deal with all these things. And then again, another month or two later, then we go yet another step deeper in this whole healing process. So that's the overall plan, the overall idea. So it will be very dynamic because we'll really have to see how does everyone respond. Maybe after the first month we realize, okay, um, 
nobody wants this, nobody responds to this, nobody needs this, and then we'll just kind of abandon, I don't want to say abandon, but then we will kind of postpone the whole process. Or maybe after a few weeks we realize, wow, um, God is really at the move here and we just need to keep going. and We can't really uh, break the momentum that we have here right now. So um, the overall plan is that maybe for the next six months or even a year or so, we will touch on this topic regularly, but we will not make it one long sermon series. So that also means if you have other topics that you would like to talk about, we can still do so. And during those times when we take a break from the topic of healing, um, but that's the overall plan, and I would guess that that probably takes a year or so until we really covered the different areas, one after the other. But as I said, we will not only talk about this, but we will also talk about a lot of other topics in between. So, that's the announcement for today. If you have any questions, please reach out to me or any of the leadership team members. And uh, as I said in the beginning, Please come prepared next Wednesday. We hope you can join us. We hope you can make the time and let us know what you think as we discuss the budget and decide our plan for the next six months.